Sundo, <laughs> stay away from me, please. My eyes can only tolerate so much. Guys, take a look at our whole at our whole new district, huh? Look at that beautiful re redesign that we've done, and that big bite really is big. But let me speak about that sunken plaza for a second when I come back to it. For now, let's speak about all the other improvements that we've made since the last time we've met. And by the way, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Scouts. Welcome back to another beautiful episode of Sea Skylines. The preschool, or elementary school, where kids come to become bigger kids and not bigger idiots, although that seems to be failing right now, <laughs> is uh, has been changed, just like a couple of the other things in this district have been changed. Buildings have been moved around. People have been evicted. It's a whole mess. But now it looks great. And kids, watch out. Don't cross. Don't cross. Speed away. Speed away. Speed away. <laughs> okay. The fire station. Looks great still. We've only moved it around. Oh, let's go back to it. It's got its own corner now. Look at that. It looks great. Just like it was meant to be. The, the, the clinic that we've now introduced to the city has been very successful with its own parking lot and its own doctors because we do need doctors right doctor uh, whatever you say Miss Young whatever you are saying Beach Square we've got right now two things parks recreation and education boost for those people who want to be smart they can't go to school they're gonna be smart right now and this right here Incineration plant will be changed to a lovely trash recycling facility, as some of you have mentioned and would like. I also would like 
Give me some time and we'll get right back to the thing. And we'll be rolling around like nothing ever happened. I have no idea what that means or what it meant. But right now I've got a little policy of having no residential in the main street. Which is that one right there with the two lanes, whatever. But I think I might have to change that. I don't want to put anything here just yet. But I think I'll have some lower density right here. Uh, let's make it three instead of four. Just so we can have some smaller bus businesses. And it won't be as loud, hopefully. With that as well, we have a we'll have a pedestrian path just behind it. That way people coming in from the right side of the avenue can come to the left side without having to go all the way down there. So we'll have this here. And this goes towards our process and agenda of beautifying the district. I know some of you wanted that, and I do too. That goes towards our goal of making sure the city looks attractive and is functional. And realistic as well. Cannot forget that. So, Kata, that's Sunken Plaza. Is it... How do you make Sunken Plazas? Well, I guess... Not, let me not say that, actually. Let me speak about this corner, actually. Looks great, I think. With a bus depot or bus stop, I think it'll be really useful. This police cruiser! You guys liking it? I love it. It looks great. And this is going to aid us in our goal of making a realistic, attractive city with attractive police cars like that. You can't fail. <laughs> An attractive restaurants like these either. Uh, shrimpery. 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 Uh, BBQ Heat and Chill, I think that's what it says. Uh, another big bite. Very good. Guys, our district is taking shape, and here comes nighttime. But we've got to add some more residential. Let's. I don't want to add any more of that noise. Actually, let's take a look. How much noise are we actually producing? Because you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna add here residential because I I know commercials is gonna add a lot more noise. So let me actually get to this first. Which I'm gonna I wanna figure out this parking lot. I, I know it's two by something. I just don't know by what. It looks like about four. So can that fit perfectly? Happy faces? Oh, happy faces. Bright blues. People are loving it. I love it too. This will become a lot more useful when we get bus stops right next to it and a lot more people move in and we get a lot more businesses. This will become useful. It looks great thus far. Loving it, loving it. Yes, yes, whatever she says. Some new people moving in now. B Square will no longer be B Square because it is now Dominican City. <laughs> Congratulations, all. Welcome to the first Dominican City within Santo Domingo. A name suggested by somebody whose name I can't remember, but we'll figure out shortly, at least for my own sake. The name might change depending on the episode. If the next episode is still there, then it's still it's there for life. If it's not, then you'll be able to see what we changed it to, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. No, 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 no. But let's go ahead and add some office zones here. That way they can't say we did not have any smart people here. Or any jobs for smart people. Yes, Chirpy, thank you for the message. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay. This little triangular corner here, I do not wish to have any other buildings. I think it's going to be a little bit too crowded and a little bit too loud. And it's going to be kind of weird. So, let's add a pedestrian path here. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks perfect. Nice cement. Brand new. Loving it. And let's beautify this little street edge corner whatever it is I know a lot of you want this I want this some of you told me you liked beautification so I'm giving you your pornography just like it is my pornography <laughs> so I hope I'll, I hope you people don't have this video on speakers <laughs> anywho let's get right getting right back to it let's get some look good looking trees and uh, let's get a random tree placed. Let's make that big. Thank you, Treebrush, for you, for your very useful 
useful usefulness. You're never useful when it comes to things like this. But it's okay. You do a good job in bigger areas. Let's just fill this whole thing up manually, I suppose. Like a peasant. That tree is huge. That bush is huge, but let's use it. It's a lot more natural and fitting. So here comes morning time. It looks beautiful. Dominican city, guys. Let's find a bit. Let's find a sort of tree. This bush, I know Flux likes it a lot. And now that I'm looking at it myself, first person, I've got to agree, guys. It, it looks pretty good. Uh, that does not, however. But <laughs> I can see a use for it elsewhere. And that palm tree will not be used here either. It's a little bit... It's not the theme that we're going for here. Let's add a couple more trees here and there. It's a big tree. I like that. That's very good. By the way, guys, I hope you're having a great morning, great day so far overall. Sorry for the delay in this video again. It's just, I'm super busy, but no need to complain about that, right? I will deliver. That's what I do here. But this beautification, I'll take a step further with probably a time lapse right after we finish with these couple minutes here and there. Um, because I feel we need to do a time lapse of me beautifying the whole district and getting it ready. So let's get one more big tree. That looks wonderful. Fitting enough. Uh, it's not good. It's anything else we can probably put down. I like that tree. I've always liked it, but no. Not in this case, pal. Not in this case. I've downloaded a couple more vehicles as well that you may notice roaming around. Besides the police vehicle, the garbage truck has also been downloaded and is now in full use and I can't wait to download some buses for this area as well and we're producing a lot of power and I'm happy with that <laughs> so that's good good power good power but can we uh, right right going back to where we were about uh, the noise pollution now we have time for it that's that's very loud Disregard that, we're gonna add some more residential zones. We need more people in here, not more big business, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, actually, let's let's not add too many. Let's get rid of these uh, six squares up in here. Yeah, and these four as well, I'll re add it. And let's add a pedestrian path. Hearts in mind, good sir, hearts in mind. A little more to the left. There we go, perfect. And let's add a little more here. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of it. Let's try one more time. Yeah. Hey, is that the dog? And the kid that we ran over? My god. Anyways, I could have sworn I clicked you out, sir. Goodbye. Oh, you are a stubborn one, aren't you? I will not be zoning the whatever's out here. Uh, sorry. Maybe. I might. Who knows? But I know. Anyways, guys. No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> it's too early. Let's get this district beautified. Beautified. And we'll come back to it once we're done. Yeah. <laughs>
this project turned out really well. And hey, a prisoner has escaped. What are you doing, boys? Get the dogs. He, no, he went the other way, pal. He went the other way. He went to my right. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for watching episode 6 of City Skylines. My apologies, my most sincerest apologies for uh, the delays in between this episode and the fifth episode. It's right. I mean, you guys must be going insane. And trust me, I feel your pain. I'm really trying to stick with my one per week uh, minimum videos. It's uh, not been easy. With work, school, and moving, it's been really stressful times, but you guys don't want to hear that, and I don't want to tell you about the bad things, because whenever we come together to watch these videos, we're coming here f to enjoy ourselves, to have fun, and to create a, a whole new city that we can all enjoy and use. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and scouts, I'll see you guys in the next one. You sold me down the river Down the river, baby You sold me down the river